today's vlog. I just got back from the grocery store. Usually, as you guys might know, I always have our groceries delivered. I like meal plan every week. Unless we have a HelloFresh box and plan out all our meals. And I use the Instacart app because it's just like way easier to have them all delivered and to like plan everything, shop for everything. But this morning, I actually went to my workout class this morning. I go to that with Lauren usually. And then after she was like, oh, I'm gonna go to Harmon's and shop for stuff. And then she sent me a picture of this cookie dough that she got. And I was like, wait, that sounds so fun <laughs> to go to Harmon's. You want some orange juice? Let's put some water in it too. And some orange juice. If you don't live in Utah, I think Harmon's is maybe only in Utah, but basically it's just a grocery store. It's not like that fancy or anything. Like it's not Trader Joe's, but they usually just have like more vegan options and stuff like that. Just like different kind of like health food options. So I thought it sounded so fun today to take Cove after her nap and go shopping. We also just got these cutest new cups from the Saturday Baby. They have like probably eight or nine colors. They have like a whole bunch, but anyway, so this morning I went to my workout class. Then we went swimming and then came back, ate lunch, took a little nap and went to the grocery store and I feel like I got such good stuff. I kind of got like healthier junk. Literally like a few days ago, we kind of ran out of like all the junk food that we had. We had a lot from like me being sick while I've been pregnant. Just because like if that sounds good, then that's what you want to eat when you're pregnant and you don't feel good. So like a few days ago, we finally ran out of like all the chips and cookies and like all that stuff. And I was like, okay, this week I'm only buying healthy stuff. And then I just went to Harmon's and literally bought so much crap. So it's really not healthy, but in my mind, if it says vegan, it's like 1% healthier. So first thing I saw that they had cotton candy grapes. You guys have never had these. They're basically just grapes. I don't even know how they make them, but they taste like cotton candy. Lauren and I haven't had these for like years. And these don't even look like good ones. Like they were literally like the last two bags. Okay, let's not eat the peaches. Okay, I got some nectarines. So these were like some of the last two bags. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get them. And I didn't even look at like how expensive they were. I got two bags. I got this one and this second one. These alone were literally $37. I rang him up and I had already told Lauren, like, I got you a present, I got you cotton candy grapes. And I was just like, well, we're stuck with them, I guess. They are good, but those are not like fresh, plump ones. They're like definitely older. And I just grabbed it. I didn't think they'd be that expensive, but whatever. So first thing we got, cotton candy grapes. I got this orange juice. It's like freshly squeezed in their store. I also got Cove some waffles. Usually for breakfast, we do avocado toast or oatmeal or maybe like peanut butter or like a nut butter toast. You wanna hold this? Oh, do you wanna give Luma her new treat? This is for Luma. We got Luma a new bully stick. Go give it to your puppy. But I wanted to have just like something else for if we're out of groceries or whatever. So I got these waffles, maple, cinnamon. They have four grams of protein, which I don't think that's actually that much. They're not like protein waffles or anything, but yeah, got these for Cove. I also got these. I usually don't like fake meat stuff. I'll eat like a black bean burger or whatever, but like fake chicken. Usually I'm not way into it, but I got a couple things that were like vegan. I've seen JC talk about these and she said they were so good. So I had to try them. I also saw these waffle fries and we never really buy frozen fries. I don't know why they're so good, but got those. Okay, I got a couple things that are like super unhealthy. Fries, this looks so good. I was hungry when I went in there. So I just like literally bought a bunch of crap, but I got these that look yummy and they're like kind of a healthier snack. These crunchy chickpeas. We got to taste these. Oh, those are good. Thumbs up. They had different flavors of these, I think. I also got a couple yogurts. These are dairy-free yogurts. Peach mango, vanilla, um, another vanilla, uh, strawberry banana. Next, I got some of Harmon's homemade salsa. Yes. I got some frozen acai. I also got barbecue sauce, because we're out of that. And I was gonna get regular, I and mean, then I saw this one said no sugar added. And I was like, does barbecue cut sauce have that much sugar? And I looked, and it was 17 grams of sugar in two tablespoons, which is so much. So I'm sure this is like not really even any better or anything, but this only had one. So I just kind of wanted to try it and see if it tastes noticeably different. I feel like it will because that's a huge difference of sugar, but I don't know. I just did not know barbecue sauce had that much sugar in it. Okay, these chickpeas are so good. These are the cookie doughs that I went there for. They had these three flavors, peanut butter, chocolate chip, and fudge brownie. So I'm gonna try one right now. Mm. Oh, it's literally just like a cookie dough thing. I think you're supposed to just like eat it. Like I don't think you're supposed to bake it. Mmm. 
I don't like it. I need to put it in the fridge. It's kind of warm now. Okay, another weird thing that I got that I wouldn't normally buy, but I don't know, I was hungry in there. Plant-based Chipotle chicken rolled tacos. So these are kind of like little vegan taquitos. So I thought that would be fun to try. Also thought that they had falafel, which is so hard to find, but this is such a good thing to like heat up for co for lunch. So I was excited to find that. I also saw a snack idea on TikTok that was cucumbers with cream cheese on top and everything but the bagel seasoning. So I got some plant-based cream cheese. I also got some ketchup. I also needed a dish brush, so I got that. Next random thing I got are some rice cakes. I also got these little pouches, which usually my rule for Cove is I wouldn't feed her anything that I wouldn't eat myself. So I never fed her like baby food. I actually do wanna do a taste test. I wanna get some like normal classic baby food in a jar and just like give it to her and see what she does. We did baby lead weaning, so obviously she didn't have like actual baby food. So my rule for her has always been that I wouldn't feed her anything that I would not eat. Pouches kinda freak me out. So I feel like I've seen things about how they get moldy, but I don't know, I feel like every baby loves pouches. So I decided to try some. These ones are Mama Chi green magic and she had a pouch today at my friend's house when we went swimming and she really liked it so then we needed tortilla chips i also got some of this cereal this is puffin cereal i let cove pick between cinnamon and peanut butter and she picked cinnamon i also got her some veggie straws for a little snack usually for her snacks i'll try to do like a platter of like veggies hummus and some fruit and maybe a couple crackers but sometimes we're on the go like this morning i didn't really have any snacks for her to like bring with me to the pool so that's why i got a bunch of like random stuff do these get refrigerated no, no, see, that's weird. I also got sparkling water. My mom always has this one, and it's so good. The Waterloo grapes. I'm really excited for that. And then Cove saw this baby shark drink, and she was so excited. So I got this for her. I don't think she even realizes that it's a drink. She just liked that it was baby shark. So, yeah. But that's the grocery haul. I don't think I'm going to vlog anything else today. But um, tomorrow, I'm going to paint more of those canvases that I showed. I think in the last vlog, Parker showed a little, like, sneak peek of what they look like. And... I still need to paint two more. Parker wanted to paint one, so he can either paint one or two. And then the ones that I did aren't quite done yet. They're like a little too white, so I need to like figure out what to do with them. So I'll do that tomorrow and update you guys with how it turns out. All right, so fast forward to the next day. Um, this morning we woke up and we went to the park, took Cove to the park, played there for a bit, came home. I took her on a bike ride. The second we got out of the car, she looked over and saw the bike and was like pointed to it and went and climbed in the her little trailer thing, so that was fun. And now it is lunchtime, and Aspen showed you guys her little grocery haul earlier, but she got some vegan, what are these? Some vegan chicken nuggets, and these are supposedly really good and are all the rave right now, so. Uh, we're gonna make these and it's actually been really nice weather the past couple days So I think we're gonna have a little barbecue or barbecue a little picnic I am barbecuing some chicken right now for me, but yeah, we're gonna have a picnic outside enjoy our nice our first like legit summer day I'm gonna make some of these waffle fries, too Is, this kind of soft? I feel like the freezer hasn't been closed all the way. Oh, really? Really? All right, so Parker, I think showed these in our last vlog, I'm pretty sure. These are the paintings that I've been working on. So I have this one that's kind of like a tan color. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't done this thing on here. I wish I'd done something else. And I also ran out of this like plastery stuff. So that's why it's like not an even shape. So I need to get more of that. And I think make it just like a little bit wider and kind of like even it out. Like the lines aren't really straight. So need to address that one. But I think besides that, I'm not gonna do anything else. This one, it's kind of hard because when I was looking at this, I was like, okay, that looks good. But I'm looking at it like against the wood. So obviously like stands out, like they're not the same color as each other. But downstairs against the white wall, this is like a little bit plain. I think I might leave this one. You can see there's like some pink on here. I did some of the plaster stuff. I also wish I had made that thing like a little bit bigger, but whatever. Again, I ran out of that stuff, so I need to get more. But I think I'll leave this one. And then this is the one I painted over that was like my tester one. So there's like 50,000 layers of paint. Okay, this one might be literally like not usable because I was messing around with the plaster stuff on here and now it's like crispy and cracked. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to use that one actually. I was gonna add more to it. It looks weird on the bottom. I could try to put paint on top of it, I guess, but I don't know. And then this one is super pink. I think it's really fun. So this one will go at the bottom of the stairs. And then I was gonna put three of them together on a wall. So I might wanna do this one a little bit more pink if I can or paint a new one. I still have two left. So I think for
for our guest room. I'm trying to decide where I need prints and what I'm gonna do. I for sure wanted one at the bottom of the stairs and then three on like the wall where Parker showed you guys last time by the ping pong table. And then I ordered some new chairs from Anthropology to go in the corner where that brown couch is right now. But those don't come until October. So I don't, I'm not gonna like put up art right there because I don't know like what exactly the setup is gonna be. It's also crazy. Those are gonna come after the baby comes because they're custom made. So it like takes a while to make them. So when I was looking, it was like gonna come October 24th or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so weird. I'll have a baby. Like, another baby and i think i ordered them like almost a month ago now so it takes quite a while what else i need one in the guest room so i think i have like a perfect amount but i think i might need more than one in the guest room so i was thinking that might be the only place i buy a print for but i'm kind of gonna just like see what we can do so yeah when cove takes her nap we're gonna have a little painting party all right so the nuggets are done we have coco's plate wait you gotta we gotta do a taste test together do you want ketchup no okay all right ready Mmm. Mom needs some barbecue sauce or something. Do you want to go eat outside? Did you try? Oh, what do you think? Mmm. Mmm. You never had a real chicken nugget, huh? Those fries are not done. Actually, yours might be okay for you. You gotta try one. Yeah, I'll try one. We got barbecue sauce. Did you taste the chicken nugget? Try that. You want some on your plate? That tastes exactly like a chicken nugget. Like you would not know that vegan. Yeah, that is very similar. Whoa. <coughs> it's spicy. It's kind of spicy, yeah. It tastes just like the spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Like, I feel like if one of those was mixed into my six-piece chicken nuggets from there, yeah. I would bite into it and maybe think, oh, something's a little different about this one, but it's pretty dang similar. Mm -hmm. I usually feel like I can't eat, like, like, I'll try fake meat stuff like this, but after a few bites, I'm like, okay, I tasted it, but I don't want to, like, eat it. But I'm going to eat the rest of these. These are very good. Okay, Cove is napping. Here's my prints all together. I actually think I'm going to put these together how i was explaining that we have like an area with one an area with three and then i didn't know what i was going to do in the guest room but these are kind of cute together this one i still don't know if i should add to it like i feel like it's perfect but it's like super super subtle so i don't know what i'm going to end up doing with that maybe i'll add something but again i need to get more stuff for that and then i think i'll paint another pink one i don't know what i'm going to do with this but anyways we're going to watch the friends reunion which i'm so excited about and then we're going to paint these i also found some cute inspo on the Luca and Gray TikTok. I don't know if these are up when you guys are seeing this. They're going up like throughout this week, but my mom painted this one and this one, which is so cute. So I should have had her come and paint these for me, but I think what I'm going to do is recreate this one, but in different colors on this. So I think that I'm going to try and like scrape off some of that. I really don't know what I'm going to do, but then I'm going to do these like half circles in pink. Yeah, that's the plan for this one. And then I want to do something kind of like this or that, like kind of just lots of different colors all together on both of these ones. And I think I'll put both of them in the guest room. So we will see how it turns out. Parker's gonna be in charge of one of these. So we'll see. Yeah. Okay guys, so for the next part of the vlog, we just got these two packages in the mail. These are from Love and Gray. So I think in this vlog, we filmed the other part of it like a couple days ago, but I'm pretty sure we painted, can't remember, but we're gonna go hang up those paintings. And I also got some stuff from Love and Gray for the basement, just like decor stuff. Cause I don't really have like quite enough to style like the shelves and everything like that. Also OOTD. I'll link this dress down below. So I have these two huge boxes. I also just finished watching Cruel Summer. I literally started it yesterday and already watched like seven episodes. And it's so good, but I'm sad. I didn't realize it's like a new show that's like still coming out. I thought it was a Hulu show. It was already like all out and you can watch the whole thing, but I can't. Dude, there's a lot of stuff. I know, there's lots of stuff. Good, you need it a lot. All right, first thing is Oh, a scent thing. Glass diffuser base. Nice. Oh, this cute little basket. So basically we just need stuff to style the shelves down right. there. And the, just like the guest room and like little areas like that. So we got this, which is super cute. 
in this cute little wooden tray. That's the more one out in um, the living room. Let's go. This little white vase and this fun little yellow one. They also have these cute like dried flowers to put in the vases. They also have these cute um, little rainbow candles. I think they had them in like three or four colors, so those are super fun. And I got this, which I love. And this one, they have the cutest stuff. It's so my style. Oh, in that box, I also had this pillow, which is super cute. Pink, of course. Whoa! Where's this gonna go? Oh, and there's a lid? We'll have to put that down. Oh yeah, I did not realize this basket was so big, but we have a huge basket. Another one, look. Dude, we are set Cute. in the basement. Got this one. Parker just pulled out a different basket. We also got more of these cute beads. Actually, two of them. So this one is like a darker, more solid pink. Got this fun vase. This is also a fun little, like, I don't know, thing. Whoa, this is cool. Yeah, a little shell tray. Nice. I like that. Oh, look at that one. That's cool, too. Yeah, this one. They have the cutest stuff. Those would go nice down oh, there in the... Yeah, cute little spoons, more beads, and these cute pillowcases. All right, so here's everything that we have down here for the shelves. I'll probably kind of just like stick some stuff there, and then maybe Amy from Ames Interiors can come and help us. <laughs> fix it because it's not going to look as good as any of our other ones because she did all of those but anyways all this love and grace stuff together is so freaking cute i think mm. i showed these new books that i got mm -hmm. or parker showed them the other day but they're all like pink and cute colors we're gonna kind of see what we can do i wanted to hang the canvases too in this video but parker doesn't have the right hooks so we'll do that soon but either way we're still waiting on like the chairs that go over here don't come till october i'm waiting on a table that goes around the corner that should come like june of july so we basically are just gonna hang the three canvases right here and this is what this area looks like all the time anyways because coco comes down here to play hoop with this pretty cute yeah i thought of that nice thanks up with in about three four minutes <laughs> so for now we'll do all this stuff is cute but it needs like a special touch all right so we didn't know if we uh, showed the end results of all of aspen's prints all it's right better. so we're gonna have table here and I'm, i wanted to put this one but it's my favorite one so i kind of want to put it out there i like this style more than like this like these right. two that we did aren't really my favorite what Sorry. This one's, these are the ones I did, and those are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> those ones aren't my favorite. Those are my favorite. And then we have this one that I still need to fix, but I need more of that stuff. This one could have been good, but I should have measured because I like, it's so awful. I like the imperfections of it. That's nice. That's what makes it good. <laughs> That's what makes it art. And then this one, last time we showed it, people were like, Parker, blink if you need help because you just showed us a blank white canvas. <laughs> Against the wood, you can see it. And there's stuff there, but it's definitely super, yeah, super minimal. I yeah. had a thought about how it's going against like a white wall, but. It'll definitely stick person, out on a white wall. Yeah, and we're going to have it with, so how should we put them? I don't know. So this one over there. Over where? So we got to put some like over on this wall over here. Any yeah, over here or right here? These. Some in there. Yeah. So we'll show hanging these in the next vlog, like I said. So I'm thinking these three over on that wall. And then no. No? They, they got to be three pinks. That brown no. one doesn't go. We don't have three pinks. Yeah, that one right there is pink. Well, this we one's go at the bottom of the stairs then. This one. You think? Yeah. So yeah, we'll have a console table here, and then just like one print here, and then some like vases and stuff. And then where should this one go? The guest room? Yeah, the guest room. Where should we put it? We could hang that. This one actually would go cute in there. Just like above the bed. So we yeah, might I need think, two. I think we might need to get more. we need that other one. Oh, and have them both together in here? Yeah, like yeah. above the bed. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm thinking these two bad boys. Oh my gosh. We'll go above the bed. We'll go above the bed. And that's all for the prints in here. Yeah, because it's just the guest room. Right. Like, it doesn't... It'd be nice if there's something along this wall. Maybe like a shelf. Yeah, maybe we do like a couple shelves. Or just imagine uh, I think like, kind like of a little what we have skinny in table. Room. I don't want to buy more furniture. I'll buy shelves. Oh. Just like a wood shelf here and one here. Oh, and yeah. one long one. Yeah. We'll put these prints above the bed. And then I actually want to paint that lamp. It's super pink, and I'm gonna paint it to match more of like these colors. Mm. So then the guest room would be pretty much 
done. So we'll hang these up in the next one. I'll paint that and show you guys. And then we'll put a couple things on the nightstand. So this is it for now. Not the most exciting update because we didn't actually do anything. But again, we don't have the stuff to hang it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. And we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys. Bye.